Hi everyone, hope you're well. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to meet in person soon. So last week we learned about David being chosen by God to be the new king of Israel. And today the lesson is how he fought the giant Goliath. And what I want you to understand is in the end it's only by the power of God that David and the Israelites beat Goliath. And it's only by the power of God that we can be saved today too. So our story starts, well there's three points to today's lesson. And our first point is the Israelites feeling defeated. The Israelites feeling defeated. And so what we've got, we've got the Philistines coming out and camping out ready for battle. And then on the other hand, we've got the king of Israel, Saul. We've got him leading his people out ready for battle. And on one hill are the Philistines and on the other hill are the Israelites and there's a big valley in the middle. And the Philistines send out their champion. The Philistine camp send out their person who they want to fight for them. And Goliath comes out and he is so scary. And he's got a big helmet. He's got big armour. Really strong. He's got a big sword, he's got protection on his legs, and his shield was so big and so strong, someone had to carry it for him. And Goliath had, on his back, he had a big javelin, and it was really strong, really heavy, and he looked so fierce. And do you know the worst thing as well? Or well, such another scary thing? He was massive. He was incredibly big. And Goliath wasn't just my height, he wasn't just a bit taller than me, he was so big! And he was about one and a half times my height, which is pretty much the height of the ceiling and a bit more. And if you saw him on a dark night, you would be so scared. And he would come out and he would stand in front of the Philistines, he would look over at the Israelites and he would shout over the valley. He would say, why do you even come and fight me? Why do you even come and get ready for battle? You're not going to win! I'm going to win. Send a man to fight me. And if he kills me, we will be your servants. But if I kill him, you will be my servants. Goliath came out in front of the Philistine camp, shouted over to the Israelites like that for 40 days. Imagine that, 40 days, having this big monster of a man shout over so threatening to you in that way. It was awful. Do you think any of the Israelites came and fought him? No. Even though God had promised to save his people from their enemies, if they trusted in him, King Saul and his people were not trusting God as they should have done. So they were afraid. They already felt defeated and they weren't trusting in God. The Bible says they were terrified. Terrified. Point number two. Let me get rid of this. Point number two. Israel had a champion. Someone came to be a champion for Israel. And three of David's brothers were in Saul's army. Three of David's brothers were in the king's army and fighting for Israel while David was staying back at home and looking after his father Jesse's sheep and one day Jesse told David to go and take some food to his brothers and to see how they're getting on and to find out how they are and so David said yep yeah, fine dad I'll go off and take this food and so he went off and he found his brothers he found the army and he found his brothers there and he was catching up with them when Goliath came and stood in front of the Philistines again and he shouted over at Israel he was giving his usual shout and he said why are you even bothering to come out here? No one's coming to fight me. If I win, you're going to be my servants. And if you win, we will be your servants. And David saw the Israelites run in great fear. David saw the Israelites be so scared and he could not understand what was happening. He said to the soldiers in the Israelites' army, Why are you so afraid? Has not God said that he would protect us? against our enemies. 
So why is no one fighting this, is, uh, this, this Philistine? Why is no one fighting this giant Goliath? Do we not trust God? And David acted on what he believed. David went to King Saul and said that he would fight Goliath on behalf of the Israelite army. And they talked a bit. Saul didn't want a boy to go and fight the big giant. And he didn't want Goliath to kill his champion and for his uh, army to have to be the Philistine slaves. And then, so they talked a bit more. And then Saul said, well, all right, if you're really, really sure, because I haven't got anyone else who's going, if you're really, really sure, then I'll let you go. But you have to wear my armour. And so David put on the helmet and the armour and the leg protection and took a shield and a sword from Saul. And it was a bit clunky and he didn't feel quite right. And he said to Saul, thanks, but no thanks. It's OK. God will help me. He said, I don't want to fight in the way that you want me to fight. I will fight in the way that God has given me the gifts to fight. And... When I have fought lions and when I have been fighting bears, when I've been protecting my father's sheep, God has always looked after me there. And I know that as God protected me then, God will protect me when I'm fighting that giant Goliath over there. And he will give me the victory. And David was trusting in God. So, part one, the Israelites were feeling defeated. Part two, Israel's champion was David. Part three, there's no surprises. You probably know what happened next. We're learning about how David had victory over Goliath. And so let's just remind ourselves, David went off to fight, not with the sword, not with the shield, not with the armour and the helmet and the javelin, but he had a sling and he would take the sling. He took five stones, stones from the uh, river and he had big faith in God's power. So Goliath was insulting David. Goliath was saying, why are you coming out and fighting me? You're just a boy. You're just a kid. You can't defeat me. But David, had, David was so confident in victory because he was trusting God. And he wanted the whole world to know how great God is and how great God's power is and how faithful God is to his people and how he looks after them. So... Goliath moved forward to attack David. David took out a stone from his bag. He put it into a sling. He swung the sling. He aimed. He shot. The stone went over there and it was a good shot. It was a great shot. It hit Goliath in the forehead. Goliath fell face down and he died. The big man was dead. David had won. The little guy had won. Not because he was little and he had a great shot, but he was trusting in God's power. And he was faithful to God and God was faithful to him. The war was over, God's people had won, David was their champion, the Philistine army ran away. David had been absolutely right to trust God for the victory. So what are our lessons today? There's a lesson for each of the points. Let's go through them. So sometimes we feel defeated, don't we? Sometimes we are having uh, a tough time at school, sometimes there's a tough time at home, and sometimes we do feel defeated. And... What happens when we, what, what, what should we do? What, what happens when we are feeling defeated? We need to trust in God. And that is the lesson that David uh, displayed. That's the example that David gave and the lesson that we need to learn. So if we're feeling defeated and if we're not feeling defeated in our battle against a Philistine and someone coming to us with a big sword and really tall and lots of muscles, but our battle is against the devil and against sin. And sometimes it can feel impossible. Sometimes it can feel really, really hard to defeat sin in our lives. And in our own strength, we can't defeat sin. But we need to remember what God can do for us and has done for us. And we need to trust in his power. Number two. So just as Israel's champion was David, our champion is Jesus. So Israel had their champion David, but... And, and he came to be their champion. He fought for them against Goliath. Jesus came to be our champion. Jesus came to be our champion. He fought for us against the devil, against the powers of darkness, where we could not fight. And we need to trust in him to save us from sin. We couldn't have made that. We couldn't have done that battle ourselves. Only Jesus could fight that fight on our behalf. Number three. 
David had victory over Goliath, and Jesus gives us victory over sin. So just as David won the battle all those years ago when he fought Goliath, when he fought the giant, Jesus has given us the victory against sin so we can be saved. We're not uh, using methods that people would usually expect, just as David didn't use the armour and the way in which people would expect him to fight, but Jesus died. Jesus died on that cross all those years ago so that he could defeat sin. And if we're trusting in him, that we can be saved and our sins forgiven. So only God could give David the power to save the people from defeat in the battle all those years ago when they had swords and javelins and slings. And only God can save us today as we put our trust in Jesus who died for us. And I pray that's true for you. So I hope that lesson's helpful. So if we're feeling defeated, we need to trust in God. Our champion is, is Jesus and he will give us victory over sin. So I hope you have a good week and hope to see you soon. Bye.